guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button let's get right into this video so today it is day two of posting every day this week leading up to christmas and today's video we are doing some duck nails we are doing a new shape guys so finally we've unlocked duck nails so i feel like duck nails have a mixed opinion some people don't like them and some people like them me personally i don't really like the super exaggerated duck nails i don't mind them of course but i I probably just wouldn't do those. The ones I like are a more subtle duck nail. It's just like a nice slightly flared out square. That's what I like as of for right now. Who knows? Maybe in the future I will do some really exaggerated duck nails. But for right now, I wanted to keep it simple for this nail set. You know, this is my first time doing duck nails. Like I said, I just want to keep it simple. I don't want to do too much for the first time doing these. So the nail tips I'm using are from this brand on Instagram. I love this brand. These are where I get my normal extra long nail tips from. Those are my favorite nail tips I've ever used. And these duck nail tips are equally just as good. They fit my nails so nicely and the nail tips are like perfectly thin so that they're easy to shape, but they're not like super flimsy. You know what I mean? So I really love this brand and I love their nail tips. So these duck nail tips are super good. And if you like duck nails, I highly recommend these tips. And for the tips, I decided to make them shorter. I wanted to do shorter because I didn't want the flare of the duck nails to be super exaggerated like I said so I trimmed them down a little to make them more subtle And one thing that I kind of wish is that I didn't taper them in as much. I wish I kind of just left them how they were. As I was looking at the nail tips, they looked good to me. But once I put on the poly gel, I feel like the flare kind of got lost a little bit. So I just wish that I tapered them in after I put on the poly gel and like when I was reshaping them just so that I could really choose how flared I want them to be. But like I said, these are more of a subtle duck nail anyway. So I thought they were good. This nude color that we're using today is different from any nude that we've used before. This one is called VIP. It's from Macar. It's more of a toned down pink nude color. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work at first, but it ended up looking really nice. And I think it's a really good color. And all of the nails are gonna be this one color. We're just going to be drawing on nail art with the gel polish. also a bit nervous when doing these duck nails that possibly putting on the poly gel would be like a little bit harder or I'd have to do something differently but overall no like overall it was pretty similar to how I normally put on my poly gel and I didn't really have to do anything differently to lay these nails so I thought that was really nice.
so glad that I got these nail tips because I normally just like to stick to what I know so I do a lot of square nails I rarely even do stiletto nails and recently I have been doing almond nails which was like a really nice refreshing shape to do because I've never really done almond nails before so that was like a nice shape that I got to learn how to do and now we're doing duck nails so I just feel like we've been trying so many new shapes recently and I'm pretty proud of that I was also a bit nervous with this shape like what if I ended up not liking the duck nails like because you know it's a new shape I don't know how it looks on me but just a little spoiler I really love how these turned out but we'll talk more about that later nails i just did them all with one bead of poly gel this poly gel was so nice by the way of course mccart poly gel is definitely my favorite poly gel so the consistency was super good and i just start off by situating the cuticle area smoothing that all out and then i just drag all the excess up towards the tip and then i take off the excess and that's kind of how i did these nails Okay, and now we are going to get reshaping these nails. Here are how they look. Like I said, I feel like the duck nail shape kind of got lost a little bit once I put the poly gel on. That's why I wish that I didn't file them in as much when I was doing the nail tips, but still I really like them and they're just really subtle. For reshaping these, I just tried not to taper in the sides any more than they already were because like I said, I already feel like they were tapered in a little bit too much than what I wanted. And then I also gave these nails the crescent moon shape I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I can't really remember. It's where you take your nail drill and file down the middle of the nail tip and make it more of a U shape at the tip. I did do that for these. I feel like doing that just really worked with these duck nails.
after all of the shaping, we're going to get started on the nail art. I'm starting on the pointer finger with this red gel polish. Now, these nails are going to be sprinkled with glitter, but when you are doing that, you want to start with a layer of top coat first and then do the nail art. But I always forget to put the top coat on, so I forgot to do that with this nail. But I just continued on with the French tip and then I cured that. I wanted to make these French tips really deep and like a little bit pointed. Um, I just feel like that really worked with this shape. So I ended up putting the layer of top coat on after I did the French tip. So on the middle finger, this one is just going to be a white French tip. And then the ring finger is also going to be another white French tip. Then on the pinky nail, this one's going to be another one of the red glitter nails. So I started with the layer of top coat first, which is what you're supposed to do. Then I drew on the red French tip and then sprinkled the glitter into that. So for the pointer finger where I messed up, I just painted top coat over the red and then put the glitter into the top coat. And I really love this red glitter. It is so festive. It just reminds me of Christmas and the holidays. On the middle finger this one's going to have a red snowflake and some other red nail art i just put a layer of top coat on the nail first just to make the surface smoother And we're going to skip the ring finger for now because that one's going to have the charm on it. So I'm moving on to the thumbnail and I didn't really know what to do on this nail. So I just made it another red glitter nail. Then back to the ring finger, I'm just putting on some rhinestone glue and then putting top coat over that and then sticking on my red bow charm. I feel like this charm just tied everything together and made it so perfect. And then 
finally, I'm just putting on a layer of top coat over that middle finger with the red nail art. Then we're going to add on some cuticle oil. Here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of these duck nails, our first ever duck nails in the comments. So I don't mean to be dramatic or anything, but I think these are my favorite holiday nails we've done so far. I love everything about these. I love the duck nails. I just love how they're nice and subtle, but they're still flared. I think next time I do duck nails, I might flare them out just a little bit more. I won't taper them in as much, but it was my first time doing these. I didn't really know, but I still think they are so cute. And the nail design, it just is so perfect for Christmas. I really love the red glitter. I think that might be my favorite part of this set. And I really like the bow charm too. I just love this whole design. I think it turned out so good. So my first time doing duck nails, I'm totally gonna do them again. This just might be my new shape. Like after I was done with these nails, I totally wished that I just had both hands done and I could just wear them because I really do love them. I think they're so good. Let me know your thoughts on duck nails in the comments. What type of duck nails do you like? Do you like the really flared ones or do you just like the more subtle ones like these? Or do you just not like duck nails at all? Let me know in the comments. And I hope that if you didn't really like duck nails at first or you would never have tried them, I hope that this video could change your mind because honestly I never thought I'd do duck nails ever but after I've tried them I really do love them and I seriously want to do them again But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this new shape we have unlocked. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!